So hey everyone, how's it going? So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on automation clips. I know that's one of those things when I first started I had no idea how to do and so I just wanted to share this with everyone else for anyone else out there who had the same problem as I did back in the past. So you can pretty much automate anything almost. And what an automation clip is is pretty much how the name says it. You're automating a knob. So you can do that with volume or different plugins, effects, whatever. Pretty much almost everything. So right here we're gonna do this. So I uploaded a loop in here just to kind of work with and play around. So to automate the volume you can go right here in the volume knob and then right click and hit create automation clip. And then so when you go back you have the volume right here in this automation clip. And so you can adjust it, you can play around with it, so let's mess around and see what happens. So see you can move it like this and you can fade it in. So this is pretty cool. So when you want to fade out songs or kind of fade in, you can do that. And so what this means is when it's all the way at the top, that's 100%, and all the way at the bottom, it's zero. So the volume will be at zero at this point. And then if you turn it all the way up, And then what you can also do is you can have this kind of tension point right here and you can kind of control. Gives you a little bit more control. And also what you can do, and this is kind of a neat trick, is if you double click on the automation clip, you can come here and you can actually set the max and adjust that and you can adjust the minimum. So what happens is, when this point, when these points are all the way at the top, it'll be at the maximum that you set, and when it's all the way at the bottom, it'll be at the minimum that you sent that you set. And so go ahead and take that off, and you can really do automation clips with anything. So. We'll kind of mess around, put grow speed on there, and put some kind of crazy pattern. So, you can come back here, and so what you can do is you can also click, right click on this knob right here for the mix, and you can create an automation clip from right here. And what it'll do is, it'll adjust the mix level. Or you can click right here, and you can click create automation clip. And so what it'll do is, it'll control when it kicks on, when it kicks off. So what we'll do is this right here. Okay, and so what'll happen is, right here, grow speed will be on, and then once it hits this point, it'll shut off. So as you can see, you can use that and create a lot of really cool effects. So we can actually move it. So it does the same thing right here. See, you can get a lot of really cool effects doing stuff like this, and you can automate everything. You can automate delay, reverb, 
almost every knob. And so as you can see right here, when it hits here, 100% it's on, and then right here, back off. And then you can also do this for panning. You can go up here and then you can create an automation clip. And you can double click on here, and I, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you can actually go to LFO right here, and you can turn that on. You can also control it right here, speed, tension, amount, whatever. And it'll do, um, create an LFO. And then come back here and you can see it's panning back and forth. So there's a lot of cool effects that you can do with automation clips and it's worth kind of playing around with and really the possibilities are endless like everything with music. So hopefully this helps someone out there and hopefully you can use it on your own tracks and make it interesting, make it cool or crazy, as crazy as you want it to be. So take care everyone and uh, I'll be back in another tutorial probably sometime next time. So uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if there's anything else anybody wants a tutorial on and I'll try and see if I can make it happen. So. Take care, everyone.